focus on the task at hand at all times, you know, whether that be in the field, uh, locking in to make sure you field come ball whenever it comes to you at the plate, you know, swing at the right pitches. I mean, if you just really focus about the game more than the circumstances around the game, then that really leads to uh, good results, so. Yeah, it can be hard at times. I'll tell you what, uh, I didn't get a lot of sleep that night. I'll tell you that. I mean, we've had, a, like I said, a lot of rough games like that. I mean, not contributed to quite a few of them. So, I mean, it definitely is hard to get through. But at the end of the day, I mean, if we let one game turn into three bad games, then th that's worse than even what happened on Friday, right? So, I mean, just us coming back on, on Saturday and getting that win said a lot about uh, our team development because a lot of those things, like we'd have a loss like that early in the year and then follow it up by, by you know, kind of laying an egg the next day. And, you know, the fact that we got past that, I think really uh, bodes well to our team, like, mindset. So. The idea that you guys, yeah, you, you've had those disappointing moments, but nobody's thrown in the towel. Like, we, we talked to Jay about that. And he says it's something that obviously they try to instill in all of you. And the, his, he, he keeps using the words that we're very positive with everybody. Yeah. Was that important because maybe this team is young and they wouldn't take, you know, the, the criticism as well as the positivity? Yeah, it's always, it's always important to stay positive, right? Because, I mean, even though we've gone through the wire with the SEC and everything, I mean, we still, in a way, are kind of in control of what we can do, right? If we go out here and play a really good series and Ole Miss and play to our full capabilities and, you know, get two, three wins out of there, then all of our goals are still ahead of us. We can still accomplish what we want to accomplish. So, I mean, positivity is definitely key. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. What do you expect to see from an Ole Miss team that's in a similar situation to Florida? Uh, two teams given – that have a lot on the line, right? I mean, Ole Miss and both of us are both, like, on the brinks of the postseason, and, you know, we're both trying to get in. So just I expect them to play their play their hardest and, you know, give it their all on the field. And they should expect us to do the same. How worried are you with, like, other teams based on where they may or may not be in terms of the standing of the bubble and all that sort of thing? I mean, you can't help but not be aware of that kind of things because obviously that kind of uh, tells you what you're going to do in the postseason. Right, so I mean, we're all very aware of what happens, of, like for the rest of the conference, what everybody's records are and everything. So I mean, we always have to keep that in note. But at the end of the day, none of that really matters unless we go out there and play our game. So we just have to. I mean, who cares what we are in the standings? If we go oh for zero oh and three this weekend, then none of that matters. Yeah. So, yeah. You have another year left. Oh, uh, I do. I do. I'm a junior. Thought about that. I mean, hey, I'm definitely willing to come back, and you know, I, I love it here in Baton Rouge, so I would have no problem coming back. Uh, same time? The experience here, you've had this year, has it been everything you thought it would be? Oh, yes. I mean, it, regardless of the win or losses that we have, I mean, playing at Alex Box Stadium is one of the best things you can be you can do at college baseball, right? Whether it's win or lose, I mean, there's still the stadium still packed out. You know, the fans are still being great fans and, you know, still with a great team. So, I mean, whether or not we have the best record that we could or we're the number two team in the country like we're in the preseason, I mean, I don't, I don't really value that in terms of, you know, if I like playing here. So I love playing here. You came here in part to improve your offense. How do you feel like you've improved since you've been here? Uh, I've improved, I think, a lot, actually. I mean, if you look at my just – I, I kind of started off really slow in non-conference, but, I mean, when I got a conference play, I mean, I feel like I've improved around the board. You know, pitch selection, uh, just taking my walks, you know, not not striking out as much as I, as I have previously. And, uh, you know, hitting more doubles and hitting more, you know, extra base hits, you know, and that's what – uh, that's my goal was going into the season, right? I mean, I didn't go out there expecting to hit 10, 15 homers. I'd say that. I'd just, I, I didn't expect that. And, I, I, you know, I've uh, accomplished a lot of what I want to accomplish, you know. And now it's the uh, team goal, right? And that's all that matters now. And I don't really care about my stats at this point. I mean, I, I'd trade a 0 for 11 this weekend for uh, for a sweep and us getting to the regionals. So, just, yeah. What kind of progress have you seen from the younger guys, Ashton Larson, Stephen Milan, that sort of thing? I mean, I mean, lots of development, man. Like, going from the fall, like Ashton and uh, and Stevie from the fall to now, I mean, it's just night and day difference, right? They're getting more comfortable in the SEC. You know, Steven's doing his thing on defense. He's always going to do that. And then offensively started off slow, and then now he's picking it up now. And, you know, love to see that from him. And then Ashton, he just hey, – the confidence came, and he's doing what he needs to do, right? He's just uh, taking great ABs, getting clutch knocks, you know, and uh, just being a great player. So, definitely – Happy to see that. What makes it so easy to turn to with with uh, Stephen? 
I mean, he's just athletic. <laughs> he's just like hands are fast. Everything's quick, man. I just know if I can get to, if I can get it to him in a good spot, it's probably going to be two. So that's what makes it. Is it important to kind of see Kelly play ball for what it is right now? Jared's talking about when you guys are good together as teams that win, have those veterans that stick around and kind of yeah. be the experienced pick and play for a team that's just talented. Is it important to continue to see the big picture and, and know that it's a growth project? Yeah, that's always important, right? I mean. And not to take away from, you know, like the importance of this season, but I mean, like, like Steven and Ashton have two more years of college baseball, right? And I'd be scared to see them as juniors and Jake Brown and all those guys. I'd be scared to see them as juniors. So, I mean, they have all the potential in the world. And this season is the most important right now, obviously. But, I mean, they, they, those three freshmen have a lot of a bright future ahead of them. And, I mean, seeing the bigger picture, I mean, they're going to have two more chances to make it to Omaha. I mean, if we don't make it this year, then hey, they'll have two more. They'll have two more opportunities, and I believe that they'll make it happen. At least at that point. Do you see that kind of the difference maker in the teams that are having success against you, and just that they've got guys that have been around and, and kind of seen those battles, learn from those mistakes? Yeah, I mean, we have experienced guys on this team as well. I mean, we have Alex Malazzo coming back, Hayden Travinsky, Tommy White. I mean, we have experience on this team as well. Like, I'm not going to discredit the experience we have on this team, right? And even if you look at the games that we've lost, right? I mean, I think there's easily four or five one-run games in SEC play, and if those games just tip in another direction, I mean, we're national seed right now. So, I mean, it's just – it's like you need the experience, and we have the experience. It's just, you know, we haven't been executed. So. Is there, like, one thing you can kind of – the struggles in SEC play, like, one thing you can kind of boil it down to, like, why you maybe have struggled, and how have you gone about fixing it? Uh, I wouldn't – I don't even really know how to answer that, if I'm being honest. Like, I mean – if you had to go through everything that went wrong in a baseball game, we'd be here for hours. So, I mean, I couldn't really even tell you. <laughs> it's just all we know is we've been uh, – we've just been keeping a positive mindset through the whole thing. And, you know, win or lose, you know, we still have to go out there and give it our 100% every time. And that's what we do, and, you know, it's all we can control. So. How did you see the bullpen sort of progress throughout the weekend, right? Because you had the tough withdrawal on Friday, and then the next 10 innings, you only throw two runs. Yeah, well, well, first of all, even on Friday, I mean, I know Griff had a rough – you know, finish to the game, but that's our guy, right? I mean, this, I mean, I, regardless of the result, hey, I would, I would win or lose with Griffin on the mound. I, I wouldn't have it any other way right now. And you know, and he had a rough outing. Okay, you know, that just happens. And the bullpen, I think, after that was pretty solid, right? I mean, Moffitt gave us some good innings. Uh, who else was out there? I mean, Ack gave us a little bit. Um, Christian. Yeah, Christian gave Gavin. us some. Gavin gave us some good innings. I mean, our bullpen really handled it pretty well after that. I mean, we only gave up four runs on Sunday. I mean, compared to other Sundays, <laughs> that's all you can ask for from them. We just we got to put up more as an offense. So, what were some things from the beginning of the season when you guys were you know, twenty-three and three, whatever it was, in non-conference there that maybe you want to get back to or have already gotten back to in the last little stretch of uh, winning here? It's just more of a. And towards the end of the game, playing to win and not, you know, trying not to lose. I think that's the biggest mental hurdle that we had to get over, you know, because when, when we played it in Houston and we closed out some close games, you know, we had that mindset that, look, we're going to win this game and, you know, we're going to go out there and do it. At the start of SEC play, you know, when things started to uh, go a little, you know, to the left a little bit, you know, we kind of got to the mindset of, oh, something's going to happen again, right? And then now I think we're in, the, we're in the spot where, like, man, look, we expect to win. And we're going out there and we're like, look, we believe that we're – we believe that we're better than the team we're going to play, no matter who it is. We believe that. And we believe that if we just execute what we need to execute, we win the game. And that's all you can ask for right now. And, you know, that's our mindset. So.